Hello and welcome to this lesson about operators in the Java programming language. In this lesson, I will show you how to use the different types of operators to perform operations on variables and values. Let's see this in action. Let's get started with the arithmetic operators in Java. First of all, we are going to create two variables. Then we are going to use the arithmetic operations based on the values of these variables. You can see we have two integer variables here. The, val the first value is equal to 10 and the second value equals 25. And the println method you can see and inside the println method we have an addition operation here. First value plus second value. The output for this operation will be 35. 10 plus 25 the value of the first value and the plus the value of the second value and the print learn method will display the output for this operation this mathematical operation in the console window as an output once you compile and run this java file before running this file let's take another example for another mathematical operation for example the subtraction operation by using the minus sign operator type in system.out.println and inside the round braces type first value minus second value the output for this operation will be minus 15 this is another example to perform mathematical operation based on the values of variables as you can see the minus sign operator or th the subtraction operator to subtract two numbers first value minus second value this is a simple subtraction operation and the print learn method also to display the output for this operation on the next line after the value of the first value plus second value so in the output for these two operations you will get in the console window once you run this file 35 and minus 15 let's add more mathematical operations here for the different types of arithmetic operators for example multiplication division modulus increment and decrement the modulus operator will return the division reminder the increment operator or the plus plus operator increases the value of a variable by one the decrement operator is used to decrease the value of a variable by one also. This is so easy and so simple. To show the output for all these arithmetic operations in the Java programming language, hit the run button to compile and run this program. You will get the output in the console window as you can see for the addition operation, subtraction operation, multiplication operation, division operation, modulus operation, increment operation, and for the last one which is the decremental operation. You can see in this example here the value of the first value variable is equal to 10 and this is smaller than the value of the second value variable which is 25 so by using the division operation or the division operator here first value is divided by second value we got zero in the console window as an output so let's change 10 to for example 100 to show the difference in the console window change 10 to 100 and hit the run button again and we, you will get the new output as you can see first value divided by second value equals 4 first value modulus second value equals 0 in this case there is no reminder here so we got 0 the division reminder for this operation equals 0 now let's talk about different type of operators in the java programming language which is the assignment operators you can use single equal sign to assign a value to a variable as in this example here and you can use a plus equal operator in the java programming language to add a value to a variable as in this example here int first value equals 100 and after that 
we add 20 to 100 and the new value for the first value variable equals 120 so if you want to use the println method or the println method from the java library to display the value of the first value variable after all of that you will get in the output 120 not 100 only and also you can use the subtract assignment operator or minus equals operator to subtract a value from a variable as in this example here second value minus equals 10 the new value for the second value variable for this example will be 15 25 minus 10 equals 15 so if you want to use the println method after all of this after the second value minus equals 10 you will get the actual value for the second value variable which is 15 25 minus 10 equals 15 this is so easy let's use the println method for our two operations here type system dot out dot println to display the value of the first value variable and the same thing for the second value variable println and second value inside the round braces hit the run button after that and you will get the output in the console window as you can see the value of the first value variable equals 120 and the value for the second value variable equals 15 25 minus 10 equals 15 so easy and so simple now it's time to talk about different type of operators in the java programming language which is the comparison operators and you can use it to compare two values the first type of comparison operator are gonna use is called equal to by using double equal sign this is to compare two values as you can see inside the round braces of the println method first value equals second value this is false the output for any comparison operation in the java programming language will be boolean value true or false this is false because the value of the first value equals 100 and the value for the second value variable equals 25 so 100 is not equal to 25 so the output for this operation will give you false in the console window let's try another operator the second type of comparison operators we are gonna use is called not equal and we are gonna use the println method to display the output for this operation on the screen also first value is not equal to second value the output for this operation you know it is true the first value is not equal to the second value 100 is not equal to 25 so the output for the statement will be true boolean value in the console window once you compile and run this program easily it's so easy and so simple and don't forget to place semicolon at the end of each statement here to avoid getting errors in the java programming language next we are gonna use the greater than operator first value is greater than second value the output for this operation will be true 100 is greater than second value or is greater than 25 the next operator will be the less than operator set the println or inside the round braces of the println method type first value is less than second value the output for this operation will be false the first value is not less than second value next the greater than or equal to operator use it inside the round braces of the println method also first value is greater than or equal to second value this is true so this statement will give you true in the console window let's try another one next the less than or equal to operator type first value is less than or equal to second value 
this is false and you will get false in the console window once you compile and run this program let's hit the run button to show the output for all these statements for our comparison operations from over here hit the run button and you will get the output in the console window exactly as you can see all the output results as you can see are boolean values false true true false true false first value is equal to second value this is false first value is not equal to second value this is true first value is greater than second value this is true first value is less than second value this is false first value is greater than or equal to second value this is true first value is less than or equal to second value this is false now let's talk about different type of operators in the java programming language which is the logical operators in java based on the values of these two variables here first value and second value we are gonna use the logical and operator first and the logical and operator will give you true if both statements are true if the two terms or the two sides of the logical and operator are true the program will give you true in the console window exactly as you can see in this example here first value is less than 200 this is true the left side of the and operator is true here okay let's move to talk about the right side of the and operator here in this example second value is less than 50 this is also true so both statements here in this example are true the two sides of the logical and operator are true so the program will give you true the print len will give you true in the console window once you compile and run this program let's hit the run button to show the output for this, this logical and operation as shown here in the console window we got true boolean value as a result for this operation let's change 200 to 70 for example now the left side of the and operator is false so the program will give you false in the console window exactly as you can see the logical and operator returns true if both statements or two sides of the, of the logical and operator are true this is so simple now let's talk about another type of logical operators in java which is the logical or operator the logical or operator returns true if one of the two sides or the two statements is true in this example here the left term or the left side of the logical or operator is false first value is not less than 70 but you can take a look at here the right side of the or operator is true so the program in this case will give you true because one of the two statements is true here the right side or the right statement of the logical or operator in this example is true so the program will give you true for this logical or operator as you can see in the console window here our last example in this lesson is for the logical not operator you can use it to reverse the result and the logical not operator returns false if the result is true exactly as in this example here not first value is less than 70 or second value is less than 50 this will give you false the logical not operator in this example is used to reverse the result of the logical or operator not true is equal to false this is so easy and so simple i hope you enjoyed this lesson thank you so much for watching see you again next lesson